Calvin, it seems like he's embracing himself as an individual more like this season. He's he's actually being truer to himself, um, which leads to like, you know, Keith and Calvin defining their relationship a bit. Uh, we get to see them kiss in the end of the season. Um, what was it like to kind of bring your characters to that point? Yeah, you know, I mean, it was sort of the culmination of the last two plus seasons uh, and you see their relationship grow and grow. And especially this season, you see them get closer than ever only to have the church tear them apart. And it seems like they're going to be broken up. And we were talking earlier about how, like how often that probably happens um, with this, with this kind of relationship where uh, what, you know, the, there's a fork in the road and they choose to, to go left and then they never see their uh, the love of their life possibly uh, ever again. So it, it was cool to, to um, fulfill their destiny of smooching yeah yeah i think i i think i'm really curious too you know danny's such a genius like i don't even want to like ponder it i mean i think there's there's a world still where like they're so new to this that it might still be like you know let's uh let's go to top golf and like there's you know there's like they're still discovering what this is and what it means because I still feel like they're very inexperienced entirely. So I think- and Inexperience, especially for Kelvin, and experience, I think, sexually just in general. So like, he might not have ever kissed anyone in his life. You know, it doesn't seem like he has, is a very sexual person at all. So it's, it's very asexual to begin with. So I think he, uh, it, it'll be very, 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 very uh, elementary level uh, love, you know? 